Hello and welcome back. We are on day three of our reading group already this week. Let's start off by blending the first sound and the last part of a word together. Are you ready? Tell me what my word is. T in. Tin. How about w in. Win. F in. Thin. B in. Bin. Th in. Thin. And p in. Pin. Did you notice anything about those words? Tin, win, thin, bin, thin, pin. Did you hear that they were all rhyming words? They all ended with the sounds in. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for our, our spelling sounds? Let's see how you do. A, uh, D, R, N, I, G, B, A, K, P, P, A, S, T, M, O, And here's some of our newer sounds. E, th, or th, wa, yeah. All right, let's get started on the words. Here's the old ones. My, our, here, me go like down we isn't was remember to read it this way can't is what get, can, you, a, the, I, put, little, she, do, Saw, see, to, buy, and, he, yes, no, where, they, and here's our new ones. Of, O, F, of. Have, H, A, V, E, have. Said, S, A, I, D, said. Home, H, O, M, E, home. Now. Let's get ready to read sled dogs again. But before we do that, there's a couple of those words that I want to make sure that you know how to read. So, S-L-E, 
D. There's the word sled. D -a -g. If I have one, I have a dog. If I have more than one, I have dogs. If I talk real loud, yell, and sometimes in the story, Peg yells to her dogs. Remember, when you see R, A, C, E, S, you just have to remember that's the word races. And the last one is fast. Fast. All right, if you have your sled dogs book on a phone or a tablet, go ahead and grab that. If you don't, remember I will put it up on the screen. And um, today being the third day, if you pause the screen so you can read it, and then when you turn it back on, I'm going to read that page to you to see how you're doing. Are you ready? Sled Dogs by Valerie Fraser. Sled Dogs. I met Peg with Belle and Tom. Belle and Tom are two of her dogs. Peg said that the dogs are not pets. Belle and Tom are sled dogs. Peg said the dogs run in races. She said she is on the back of the sled. So, to show you the whole picture, there's Peg. Belle and Tom, yip and yap. Peg said that she yells at them to run. Do you know what a yip and a yap is? Kind of that yip, 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 yip. They're ready to go. They're excited to go. Kind of that light barking noise. The dogs yap and then run. The dogs run fast. Will Peg and the sled win? Yes, Belle and Tom are fast. They will win. And there's their first place ribbon to show that they were the winners. If you have somebody sitting with you, perhaps you could talk about these two, these two questions. What did you find out from the photos in this book. So what did you learn by looking at the pictures in that story? And here's the other question. How are Belle and Tom like pets? And how are they different from pets? Do you think her dogs stay in the house with her? Do you think she snuggles with them at night like you might with your pet? Or because they're sled dogs, do they stay maybe outside in a barn or a shelter of some sort to keep them ready for that cold weather and to be ready to race? 
Now, the last thing we have to do this week for our small group reading is write our sentence. So grab your paper and pencil or your whiteboard if you have one. And your sentence today is, see this yak. A yak is a big animal, kind of like a big bison almost. We know what those are, don't we? All right. So when we write a sentence, remember the first letter in the sentence always has to be a capital letter. So see this yak. So we're going to write the word C starting with a capital S. Remember how to write that sight word? C. Now we have to sound out the word this. Do you remember those two letters that say th? Did you say th? Th. See this yak. Yeah, there's our new sound. Little diagonal, big diagonal in the ditch. Yeah. Ah. And on the end of yak, it's just a K today. Do you know what my sentence is missing? That's right, it's missing the period at the end. Now, can you read that back to me? Right. See? this yak. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. And remember, you can always go back and read Sled Dogs or any of the books we've learned prior to this anytime you want. See you later.